What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another NBA Live 15 wishlist video. And today I will be covering Smarter AI. Uh, the AI, I guess, was alright here on NBA Live 14. They definitely need to fix it going on in the series. It's just the little things that need to be fixed that could make the AI a lot better. Uh, it's just the simplest things. Um, like Cedric mentioned yesterday, uh, the floor spacing on here was some of the best, if not the best, that we have seen in a basketball game thus far. Uh, and I agree with that, but only to some extent. Um, there is still times where the AI does lapse. I mean, especially on offense. A lot of your players want to sink down into the post. Uh, nobody's trying to move around, get open. Uh, so there's some players that get caught on screens. Stuff like that I was hoping would be fixed in a patch here on Life 14. But moving forward, they definitely need to fix that uh, going on in the series. Uh, the AI, I talked with a buddy of mine about. Uh, he came over from 2K. He thinks, the I, he thinks the AI is difficult enough. I told him that he just really needs to learn how the game plays. Uh, I was able to play on Superstar, you know, a few weeks into having the game. I think the AI could definitely be more difficult. Um, Real AI was something that EA Sports brought in with NBA Jam on Fire Edition. Uh, that's not something I thought that really fit on there as well as it could in the NBA Live series. Uh, Real AI on there, to my knowledge, uh, the AI would actually try to learn your tendencies, uh, it would react a lot better, it, they would really play more like their real life counterparts, that's something I would really like to see in the NBA Live series. More reactive AI is something that is really an issue here in NBA Live 14, and I hope that they have it fixed with Live 15, uh, especially better recovery off the double team. Uh, you go into a game, you're dominating with Kobe, LeBron, whoever it is, and they're going to start double-teaming you. They start double-teaming you, they're going to leave everybody else open, uh, especially one player. You know, if I'm using LeBron, I'm dominating with LeBron, they're going to leave most likely Chalmers wide open, and it's going to give me an open three every time, and there is not much recovery defense on there. They really, really need to fix the recovery defense off the double team, and just in general for that matter. The AI could really be more intense down the stretch of a game as well. Uh, especially, you know, they're down three points with ten seconds to go. Um, most of the time, they're going to stand there, they're going to dribble the ball out, they're not really going to try to drive or pass. There needs to be less standing around, less dribbling, players need to move around more, and they really need to find that open pass, especially late in a close game. Order AI in the post was something I was really frustrated with on here, uh, especially the defense. Um, most of the time, probably nine times out of ten, you can pump fake in the post. They're going to bite off the pump fake and you have a wide open lane to the basket because of how bad the recovery is and how, I don't want to put it like this, but how stupid they are when defending, uh, when they're defending you when you're trying to back down the post. That could definitely be a lot better. As well as timeouts. Timeouts were something that I think everybody was frustrated with. Uh, the the opposing team didn't use their timeouts. Your coach himself didn't use the timeouts. Uh, the AI on the other team especially didn't use them unless it was late in the game. It was a close game, and they needed it to advance the ball or stop the bleeding, basically. As always, ladies and gentlemen, leave a like and subscribe if you did like the video. And leave a comment below what you would like to see in the next video, what you would like to see me cover, and what EA Sports needs to do with NBA Live 15. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching.